Hello everyone, welcome to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise here of Plan With Elise and today we are planning in my dashboard layout for the week of April 11th through April 15th. Uh, this says November 2021 because I'm going to be saying this I guess in every video for the month that I lost my April pages in my dashboard planner. I don't know where they went. So I am using some older November pages, but I'm going to show you just how easy it is to cover these up. And the reason I'm saying it in all of my dashboard videos this month is because if someone comes across one of the videos and doesn't understand why, that is the reason. So first up, I'm going to take Dated Basics by Kell of a Plan, and we are going to redate this using my tweezers. So what did I say? It's the 11th. That's the one thing when it comes to redating spreads. You have to actually know what week you're planning in, <laughs> like double checking here. All right, so let me talk for a second about this week. If you saw my classic video yesterday, you will know that this week is Plan with Elise's four-year anniversary, and that just means four years since I started my Plan with Elise Instagram account. YouTube has not been four years. YouTube is a little over a year and a half. Wait, yeah, almost August or July will be two years. Um, 16. And so my spreads this week are going to be something plan with Elise related. So the one that I did yesterday was using Caitlin Plans planner stickers and sort of birthday planner themed stickers. And um, my big, which will be up tomorrow, also has a specific plan with Elise theme. And now we have my dashboard. All right, so now this is ready. What better way to celebrate than with Miss Maker? I know that a lot of Miss Maker is more crafting than planning, but I really think that this is the perfect sticker book for celebrating something like this. So I really love this sticker right here, Create What You Love. And I think that's just going to sit there because that's why I started my planner account. And I'm pretty sure everyone who has a planner account feels the same way. You wanted a space to share your planners with people who would appreciate it and not the people maybe in your life who would be like, ah, what you doing posting your planner? <laughs> so I also like happy plans are the best plans. I'd like to use that somewhere. But of course, these are big stickers. So maybe we'll take these big discs and not have them stick to the sticker book. Oh my goodness. Okay. What if I take these big discs and put them right up here? The only thing is there's a ton of these little black specks that you're going to see that through. So I'm going to spend a minute covering some of these up. I probably could use correction tape to cover it all, but this should be quick. And I'm using the Uniball Signo, which I find just rolls on much smoother than what I used to use, the jelly roll. I don't usually have issues with this pen. Um, and it has a nice thick coverage for things like this. So it's not perfect, but I think it'll, it'll do the trick. Oh, I meant to cover up the line too. Forgot about that part. Just one of those things with clear stickers is sometimes they require a little bit of covering. Okay. It's a little bit sloppy, but I think it worked. And then let's trim off the edge here. And the side as well. Okay, so now I have these two colors on both corners and I feel like we're off to a good start. I am going to take out my Miss Maker. We're calling this like Miss Maker 2.0. I don't think that this sticker book has these small stickers that I wanna use in terms of the boxes for my headers. So what I did pull out is the newer Rainbow Mega Book because I'm pretty sure we have some pastels here. They're not quite the right colors, but some of them are. So the pink is right, the orange, 
this teal, which I'm going to pull out two of the teal ones because I need five. And the red, even though there's no red. So the red is not right. <laughs> um, let's pull out another kind of light pink one. I feel like I keep forgetting to go to this sticker book. So let's put this one right over here. And then this one will go here. Uh, this here. Do you guys use your hands to put stickers on before you put them down somewhere? I actually think that that matches really nicely. The orange isn't a perfect match, but it's good enough for my purposes. All right, now I'm going to want some other boxes throughout this spread. So I'm gonna pull these colors again, and I am going to put a box over here on Thursday and another box on Friday. So maybe I'll pull this pink over here and I'm putting these to the right so that I can use the rest of this. And then we also have these checklist stickers, which is ideal because I often need that in my dashboard, but they're going to have to be cut because they're too big for this section. So I'm gonna put each of these down and then trim them as needed. So which colors? We've got this orange. I like this like pastel look to, uh, for this spread. That's why I like Miss Maker 2.0, maybe more than I like the original Miss Maker because I, I do like bright colors sometimes, but these just have a softer pastel look that I like. All right now let's take, uh oh, I hope I don't run out. Ah, uh, <laughs> I didn't plan ahead very well here. Hmm. Well, we have one more option for green. I'm going to put that here because I didn't want that. I mean, yeah, this is going to stay here. But now it looks like I'm going to be out. So I need to check the Miss Maker sticker book and see if. Maybe there's some checklists there once I get these stickers off my hands. Oh, there's more down here. Okay, these saved the day. So let's bring in this pink. And this, these will just serve as my daily to-dos. They might be to film a video or schedule a video, um, take a photo, post something emails to get back to, things like that, because this is my plan with the lease planner. And then I need one more of these pink ones. And we'll get this down. I feel like I'm getting back into my groove when it comes to my dashboard layout. I go in phases. I feel like it comes, goes in and out. All right, I'm gonna put this book aside. And then before I get to more decorating, I want to get back to function. So I'm going to take my social media icon stickers from Proud Sticker Designs. And each day is going to get an Instagram icon, which usually corresponds to the photo that I'm posting that day based on the YouTube video that goes up that day. So like today is well Sunday, if you're watching this a few hours after it goes live which means that on Sunday I would write my dashboard spread. Put that down. And two more. And you can always save 20% using code ELISE20 on your order of Proud Sticker Designs. Um, and her, Nicole's shop is always linked in the description of all my videos. Now we are taking a YouTube icon. This will be my YouTube schedule for the week a planner sticker, and this is all things that are other. So um, maybe something for squad or wild university or anything that's not taken care of in the categories that I'm setting here. Up top, this is going to be my videos I need to film for the week, which are usually the following week's videos. Things to do for Patreon. And then we are going to pull two habit tracker stickers.
I love when you figure out what works for you in a spread because it makes putting the spread together a little bit easier, maybe a lot easier. I don't know if just a little bit easier. I'm gonna put this Patreon icon here too because um, we have two Patreon Facebook groups, one for all patrons, one where we just talk about budgeting. And so I want to, you know, remind myself to check those throughout the day and things like that when I'm finished working. All right, we have a couple of more things to get to in terms of making this fun and decorative. So, oh, I need to put boxes down here. I totally forgot about that. Let's go back to rainbow. I feel like I'm a little all over the place with this video. And I'm going to take the green and the pink. And this is where I'm going to track growth on Instagram and YouTube for the week. So those boxes will go there. Now let's get back to Miss Maker and go through and see where we can add oops, some fun in here. I like these. I'm looking for like a today sticker. Oh, look at these discs. Maybe we can bring some of these in. Before I put these down, I want to keep looking. <laughs> See if there's something else that I can put in there. I want to bring these in. So I'm actually just going to rip this out. Okay, these will be perfect because they're similar to the ones that are over here on the right. So maybe we'll just kind of do a combination of these discs. This kind of reminds me of the spread I did. It was my big when um, I made squad, but those were with big discs. I think they were using Mambi sticks. All right, and then I'll cut off the edge here. That's cute, just like a little, a little something. Um, let's see. Oh, I pulled off the stitching, so I want those. And then we do have some more disc stickers. So let's maybe like put these right over here, just as something fun. And the rest of those are buttons. I'm not gonna use those. Um, DIY today's plan. Let's bring today's plan right in here. And let's see, we're almost through the book. This is like that point where I've used this book for a lot of spreads. And I don't know that there's going to be a ton of stickers left that I'll want to use, but I'm going to use them. Okay. Just wanted to add another disc over there. I feel like maybe I should add some down here, because why not? So I'm just gonna put three. And we'll trim the excess off here too. I wasn't sure I was going to have enough stickers for this spread, but I am pleasantly surprised that I do. All right. I think we're just about here. So let's move this over. And now I want to go to the stitching. So I like the pink. Do I have? No, I don't. I was going to see. It was like, do I have the washi from Miss Maker? But I, I don't. I wanted it. And I never found it, and then I stopped wanting it. <laughs> Let's get this cut. I need to take these stickers off these scissors. So we have a little stitching over there, and we can bring some more stitching in here just for fun. So why not add a little pizzazz? Take off these. Okay. Now let's bring in the green too. And maybe this one can get it right here. And we'll put it 
over here too. And then I have another piece that I'll include because no sticker left behind. This one can go, oops, crookedly. Uh. Okay, so if you have been around since or for the last four years, before before I had a YouTube channel, let me know in the comments um, or kind of when you when you came across Plan with Elise, which if it was because of my YouTube or somewhere else, I would love to know kind of how you came across my channel and um, and on this journey with me. There's like other spreads peeking out here because I am a bit ahead on my schedule, but. Anyway, I think that this is a really cute spread and I'm really excited about it. I was actually kind of nervous to make it because I wasn't sure, like I said, that I'd have enough stickers, but I really love it. So that is a wrap. Um, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you next time.